Go to any sporting goods store and you'll see an entire wall devoted to running shoes. But there's a new trend that has some people blazing the trail barefoot. So should you lace them up or not? Eyewitness News reporter Lori Corbin talks to the experts. Whether they're trying to lose a few or just feeling the need for speed, many are running for their life. But shoeless? What's up with that? I feel like my arches uh, hold together better, um, my feet are stronger, I have better footing, and definitely the pain-free running is a wonderful thing. World-class runners have braved the pavement barefoot, which for most of us seems painful. Yet guys like Jeff Levine feel hoofing at Footloose feels better for his body. Your feet are doing the job they were born to do. Shoes can protect your feet from the elements, but they tend to cushion your feet and stop it from doing its basic job. Trainer John Whitman says inserts and thick-soled shoes might possibly cause a lack of communication between body and brain. The theory, at least, is that by running barefoot, your foot, all the muscles in your foot are doing their real job. Your toes are flexing, your foot's conforming a bit to the ground, and the muscles are all working, and it makes your, your foot and your leg stronger. But many suffer from fallen arches, heel spurs, plantar fasciitis, and more. So experts like Dr. Paul Kopsky say barefooting's not such a great idea. The amount of forces that are put on the feet is tonnage per mile. So those are forces that are very difficult to negate unless you are putting something underneath the foot to absorb all of that extra load that you're putting on the torso. It gets me nervous because we know that once the ligaments start stretching in the feet, they continue to be stretched. And to protect against whatever's on the ground. For about 70 bucks, you get a thin, flexible rubber with slots for toes that some find a far more sanitary way to hit the pavement. But whether you hit the streets barefoot or lightly gloved, Whitman says, like any new program, take baby steps. I don't run 10 miles in, in my, my bare feet. I'll run 400 meters, 800 meters multiple times. I'll run maybe two or three miles. Just like I'd want to use different grips or different types of weight movements to get parts of my body strong, sometimes I'll run with shoes, often I'll run without them or in other protective gear so my feet can do different jobs. Lori Corbin, ABC7 Eyewitness News. All right, Lori out there giving it a try with the gloves on.